okay guys welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel you are most welcome and on this channel i teach mathematics science biology and also revise past examination question papers all right in today's lesson guys i'll be teaching a chemistry lesson and the topic today is acids bases and salts so now our subtopic today is uh, no other than the strength of acids and the bases all right and this is lesson number two on this topic and as usual my lessons always start with an introduction and this introduction always consists of some questions and our question in this introduction says describe the meaning of weak and strong acids and the bases all right so let's go straight into the lesson and understand the meaning of uh, weak and the strong acids and the bases so let's address first this uh, subtopic here which says strength of acids and the bases so strength of an acid refers to the extent to which an acid ionizes or dissociates into ions in aqueous solution so strength of an acid refers to the extent to which an acid ionizes or dissociates into ions in aqueous solution all right so the weight ionize means to form ions and the way it dissociates means to split all right so strength of a base on the other hand refers to the extent to which a base ionizes or dissociates into ions in aqueous solution so you have heard the meaning of the term strength of an acid and the strength of a base so it is simply means the extent to which an acid or a base dissociates or ionizes into ions in aqueous solution and the ionization or dissociation is the process simply of forming ions and if you understand under the topic code bonding before a compound is formed first ions are formed and these ions that are formed are the one that combine to form a compound however in ionization it's the opposite a compound splits back into the ions it is made up of so the strength of an acid is the extent to which an acid ionizes or dissociates into ions in aqua solution so this means that when an acid is in aqua solution it has the ability now to split into its own ions the same applies with a base so when a base is in the aqua solution it splits back to its ions it is made up of all right so let's continue i hope you're understanding so acids and bases which ionizes or dissociates completely into ions in aqueous solution are referred to as strong acids and the strong bases respectively so you have heard those acids that dissociates or ionizes completely into ions in aqueous solution are referred to as strong acids and in the same vein those bases which ionizes or dissociates completely into ions in aqua solution are referred to as strong bases all right so acids and bases which ionizes partially in aqua solution are referred to as weak acids and weak bases respectively so here also they are saying an acid that ionizes partially in aqua solution is referred to as weak acid and also a base that partially ionizes in aqua solution is referred to as a weak base all right so partially means not fully all right so now let's look at examples of strong acids and their chemical formula so examples of strong acids we have are number one we have hydrochloric acid whose formula is hcl number two we have sulfuric acid whose formula is h2so4 the number three we have nitric acid whose formula is hno3 
So these are the common acids that we find in a school laboratory that are strong acids. Now let us look at their ionization. So examples of ionization or dissociation of strong acids. So we want to look at these acids now. How do they ionize when they are in aquasi solution? So we'll start with hydrochloric acid. So hydrochloric acid, when it is in aquas, AQ there stands for aquas. When it is in aquas, it is supposed to split back to its ions it is made up of. So you have seen this hydrochloric acid is HCl. So this simply means that it is made up of two different types of atoms, which are hydrogen and chlorine. So this hydrogen and chlorine split when it is in aquas into their ion so it splits like this so it goes into the hydrogen ion which is positively charged and also the chloride ion which is negatively charged all right then the sulfuric acid also when it is in the aqua solution must split into the hydrogen ion plus the sulfate ion all right so this sulfuric acid is made up of the hydrogen ion and the sulfate ion all right so this sulfate ion is a radical all right so it exists as a group so the sulfur and the oxygen they exist as a group bonded together here in a group so we have the hydrogen and the sulfur which splits into the hydrogen and the sulfate and since here we have two here under hydrogen, this simply means that this radical has a charge of two. So when we split it, we have to indicate that this two came from the charge back there. It goes back to where it came from. Right? So let's look at nitric acid. So nitric acid is made up of the hydrogen and the nitrate ion and also it is a radical and this when it splits it splits into hydrogen plus the nitrate ion like that all right so the full arrow pointing toward the products is used to represent complete ionization so these four arrows here they represent complete ionization which means that these acids when they are in aquas they don't exist like this as molecules like this but they exist as ions all right so in aquas you will never find that aqua solution of this strong acid having any molecule of that acid you will only find ions in that aqua solution so that is what it means to be fully ionized all right so now um, it is these hydrogen ions that give acids their characteristic properties so these acids when we say acids when they're in aqua solution produce hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions it means it's only acids that are capable of producing hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions in aqua solution and this is a characteristic or a characteristic yes of acids so now let us look at it, some examples which shows how these strong acids ionizes in the aqua solutions okay so with me here i have a diagram here so on this diagram i have this beaker here which is supposed to contain all this yeah beaker here which is supposed to contain uh, hydrochloric acid and this large beaker here which is supposed to contain water so you know hydrochloric acid is represented by the formula hcl and in terms of molecular level we have uh, represented this ball here as the hydrogen and this ball here as the chloride and this is the molecule of what of hydrochloric acid existing like this here and then this is water the formula h2o and water also represented by this ball as the atoms so water which is here is existing like this so now let's see what happens when we pour out or when we pour this uh, hydrochloric acid into the water here and see how it is going to dissociate or ionize so
So you see upon boiling this hydrochloric acid into the water here, instead of existing like this, now it has split itself into ions here. All right, so we have the hydrogen uh, ion and also the chloride ion throughout the uh, aqueous solution. So this is the same way which can happen here. So as you can see here, if we do it also we mix them like that this is what will happen so instead of having what we had now we have this the chloride and the hydrogen ion here in aqueous solution all right now let us look at the examples of weak acids and their chemical formula all right so let's go straight into the lesson so examples of weak acids and their chem chemical formula are one we have carbonic acid whose formula is h2co3 and then we have also ethanoic acid whose formula is hch3cooh and also we have phosphorus acid whose chemical formula is h3po4 so these are some of the weak acids that we can also find in a school laboratory all right so let's look at how these acids ionize in the aquasi solution so examples of ionization of weak acids so let's start with carbonic acid so we are starting with carbonic acid whose formula is h2co3 so this one now instead of having the four arrows now we are going to have these partial arrows here so these partial arrows represents partial ionization so this also when it is an aqua solution it will split into hydrogen and also the carbonate ion however these arrows shows that not all of this substance splits into a hydrogen ion and the carbonate ion it means part of it remains here or rather when this splits into hydrogen ion and the carbonate ion it recombines back into the hydro i mean the carbonic acid molecule all right so the other one here is carbon i mean ethanoic acid so ethanoic acid also ionizes into uh, the hydrogen ion and then the other part here so you can see ethanoic acid here now splits into removes this as this hydrogen and remains with this that's how it ionizes and also uh, phosphorus acid ionizes like H plus aqueous plus uh, the phosph phosphate uh, radical or ion all right so this is just how ionization of weak acid also occurs so the prominent issue that you should take note are the half double half arrows here so we are saying the double half arrows are used to indicate partial ionization of ions all right so let's look at an example of how these weak acids ionizes into aqua solution all right so we have a diagram here where we have carbonic acid here and water <laughs> And this is carbonic acid represented as atoms here and this is water so let's see what happens when we pour uh, the uh, carbonic acid into the water here so you have seen the moment we pour it it splits into these hydrogen ions and the carbonate ions but take note we also have this molecule also in the same aquasi solution which means that not all of it splits into this unlike what we saw when we were pouring hydrochloric acid into water everything had to split we didn't see hydrochloric acid here but here we are also able to see the carbonic acid here because it doesn't fully ionize all of it into ions all right so the same situation can be seen by the opposite diagram here so when we react what we see now here is this so these are hydrogen ions which are these 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 
but we still have also this one, the carbonic, which is made up of two hydrogen atoms, one, two, this one, two, and then the carbon, the carbon here, and also the three uh, oxygen, the three oxygen there, and these are the hydrogen, so these have split. So in this upper solution, you still have both. What? You still have both uh, the hydrogen ion and this, and also you, you have also this molecule also there. So weak acid, they don't produce a lot of hydrogen ions for them to be strong. So they are weak because they produce few hydrogenic ions which make acids the, which gives acids their characteristics All right so guys we have come to the end of this video if you enjoyed the video give it a like and also let me know in the comment section and please if you haven't yet uh, subscribed consider subscribing to this channel so that you don't lo or you don't miss on the next video that i'll be uploading on the uh, examples of uh, strong uh, bases and how the strong bases and weak bases also ionizes in aqua solution so guys thank you for watching this video bye and please peace